Hi, Tom here. Have you ever come across these people who um, grade women, right? I mean, men who grade women. So they will be talking about uh, women's attractiveness, and you know they've got this scale, this grading scale from zero to ten, I guess. And you know they often say, "Oh, this woman is a ten. This woman is a six. This woman is a two. Um, I only date seven and above or eight and above." Stuff like that, right? If you're one of those men doing that, stop. It's silly, right? The reason I'm talking about this is because uh, I thought it was only high schoolers, you know, teenagers, who were talking about women like that. But no, it appears. Um, Grown adults, mature men, and even older men um, are talking about, I mean, not all of them, but some of them are talking about women like that, right? Now, there's nothing wrong being, uh, being attracted to beautiful people, right? It's completely normal. When I see a woman for the first time, obviously I look at her beauty, right? You know, her smile her looks, the way she carries herself, the way she speaks, stuff like that, right? But to grade women on a scale from zero to 10, as if you were grading meat in the abattoirs or in some butchery shop somewhere, I mean, that's, that's silly, man, right? You look at all those dating coaches online, um, they even do worse because we always talk about how we show you how to date women who are eight, nine and tens and, and stuff like that. I mean, come on. I mean, if you're going to get dating advices from a person, man or woman, who's referring to other people's attractiveness by a number on a scale, a magical number on an arbitrary scale, then you're wasting your time. People doing that are not grading women. They are degrading themselves. All right. So if, if, you're into, uh, if you're into that, if you do that when you speak about other women, just know that you're not actually grading women. You are degrading yourself. Let me explain. Looking at a woman and assessing her level of attractiveness based on a scale from 0 to 10 is, in my opinion, the height of female objectification. And it shows from the person doing that, that that person has a certain level of uh, uh, developmental retardation. Right? If you're in your twenties and above, and you're still talking about women in terms of five, six, seven, uh, then mentally, you know, you, you still grow up, you know, you're still functioning at the level of a 10 year old. I find it very insulting that, you know, you would look at this woman, look at that woman and say, oh, she's a six, she's a five. You know, I mean, that's, that's outrageous, actually, you know. It shows that you have no respect for women. And women doing that, I don't know if women do the same thing with men, but if they do, but I don't think they do, right? But, but if, if they do, then I have the same, right? And if you're a woman, and you're proud that some men are calling you a 10 or a 9, and you're really feeling proud of that, and you go on saying, I'm a 10, people say I'm a 10, then as a woman, you are even worse than the men grading you, right? Because it means you have completely assimilated to the idea that you're just a piece of meat, right? It's like at the supermarket, right? Grade A meat, grade B, uh, you know? Yeah, I mean, this grading scale of women is the most basic and least sophisticated level of sensibility. 
from a human being. At any rate, uh, this is a pathetic way of determining the beauty of a woman, the attractiveness of a woman, right? There's so many different factors when it comes to being attract attracting a mate or being attracted to a mate, a partner, right? And, and if as a single man, uh, you're trying to date and look for a compatible partner with you, you know, um, and you're going to grade them by looking at them and say, this is a six, this is a seven, this is an eight, I'm only looking for tens, then my friend, you are, I have to tell you, you are a sad excuse for a human being. <laughs> That's true. When you think about it, if you just think about this for 60 seconds, right, you can already see it's, it's, it's pretty silly. What scale is that? You know, when you, there's a guy I used to know um, when I was working in Miami earlier this year who was always talking about women like that. Oh, look, this is a 10, this is a 10, this is an 8, this is a 9. You know, I'm dating 9s and 10s and this and that, you know. And I used to look at him. And I remember one day I asked him, okay, so you only date 9 and 10, all right. Look at this picture. What do you think? Oh, yeah, she's a 10. I said, okay, so you would date her, right? Because she's a 10. So, yeah, okay, she's a 10. You approach her, you speak to her. You realize that um, she doesn't have a job. She's completely uneducated. And she's basically uh, a gold digger. Hopping from nightclub to nightclub. She's still a 10. On top of that, she's nasty with a bad attitude. She's still a 10. I mean, are you still going to say, oh yeah, she's a 10, but you know, she's a bit nasty. She's got a bad attitude. She's unemployed. She's not working. She's kind of illiterate. She's ignorant, but she's a 10. So, so, so what's, what's the attraction there? I mean, how, how is a little scale working then? And by the same token, you meet this other woman. And you say, oh, she's a five. Good. You approach her. You talk to her. She's very funny. Witty. You know. Great smile. Very smart. Very successful. Basically, you could say the full package, the full package right? Is she still a five? as compared to your previous 10? Obviously not. She's a much better deal than the other one. So where, where, where is your scale working? You see, your scale is upside down already, right? So don't grade women, man. Don't do that. It's, it's silly. It doesn't make any sense. Besides, beauty, talking about physical beauty only, is subjective. So you see, when it comes to attractiveness and beauty, the first and most important prerequisite to beauty is humility. You cannot be beautiful physically if you don't have humility. Let me explain that to you. This might have happened to um, many of you out there. You a man. You go out on the weekend, you know, you go to a nice lounge or, um, you know, restaurant or whatever. Let's say a lounge because it's a great social setup, right? So you go to a nice uh, bar lounge, um, you know, to chill and relax, you know. Everything's good, the music's good, you're enjoying yourself, you're having a good time. And then, a little bit further away from your table or from, from you, from, from, from the bar, you see this really beautiful woman, very attractive, looking so beautiful, dressed to perfection. So you're obviously attracted to her, uh, you know, at first glance, you know, just looking at her, you think, wow, she looks so great. Fantastic face, 
beautiful body, you know. That's my type of woman. So already in your mind, um, if you're the grading type, you would say, oh, that's a perfect 10. That's a 10. Look, I need to go speak to her. All right. So you go speak to her. You go over to her, her table or you know, her side of the bar, wherever she is. You know. So you go there, you greet her, you introduce yourself, and you pay her a nice compliment. When she opens her mouth, you realize that she has the nastiest attitude you've ever seen. She's just flat out rude and nasty, you know? And she basically tells you to fuck off. That, you know, you, you, you're shocked. I said, no, come on, uh, I was just greeting you, introducing myself and paying you a compliment. This is not the kind of woman you thought she was. You go back to your table quite disappointed. Now, five minutes earlier, she was at 10 in your little mind there. She's opened the mouth, she's spoken to you. She's proven herself to be rude, you know, obnoxious, and very, very nasty. Is she still gonna be at 10? No, obviously the level of attraction has gone down from 10 to whatever is an appropriate number for her behavior in your scale, right? So it's, your scale basically has just been blown to pieces, right? It doesn't work anyway. First, don't put women on a grading scale. Secondly, even if you were to do that, you can see already that it's a stupid thing to do, you know? You have to be a shallow man to actually grade women based on how they look. But what about you? How about women grading you as a man? Where would you fit, right? I mean, you, you see it all the time. You see guys who are unattractive, out of shape, overweight, and they talk about, oh yeah, this woman is, a, is not a 10, she's an eight, and this one is a five, and this one, she's a four. Uh, but what about you? I mean, you're so good at grading women. Um, what are you? Are you a 10? Look at yourself in the mirror and be honest with yourself. Where are you physically? Right? I mean, if you can do that, right, if you can put yourself in other people's shoes, then you realize that you're all grading, the old grading of women thing is just ridiculous, right? Let's put the shoe on you now and let's grade you. I mean, let's go by, um, I think when women, when women are generally speaking, I mean, uh, you know, I'm just generalizing, but I think most women, when they're looking for a mate, um, for a husband, for a partner, you know. Um, it's not so much the physical beauty, I think, but it's also um, uh, somebody's gonna be able to uh, sustain a future family, right? So they'll be looking at um, the potential for success, for uh, financial freedom, uh, sustainability, stuff like that. So you, where are you on the scale of financial success? A 10 being a member of the 1%, a billionaire. Where are you? Are you a 10? No? Let's talk about fitness and success in athleticism, determination and discipline, you know, motivation. Hard work. And let's take Usain Bolt as a 10 for discipline, consistency, you know, and all, all those things that are making, that, that have made him uh, the greatest sprinter of all time. Are you a 10? Let's talk about the creative mind, the creative genius, you know, and the willpower 
try and change the world. And let's take Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX and um, Tesla, as a 10. How do you measure up to that? Let's not grade other people. Let's not grade women. You know, as I said before, you're not grading them. You are degrading yourself. You are just showing the world how shallow, how ignorant you are and how pathetic you are in your interpretation of beauty and attractiveness. Just say she's beautiful, you would date her. Uh, no, she's not your type, you know, you wouldn't date her, right? So yeah, um, that's about it. That's my opinion, I just had to say it because I've heard several people say that um, recently, you know, uh, grading women. Uh, don't grade women, and if you're a woman, don't grade other women, right? Anyway. That's my two cents on the matter. In the end, look, do whatever you want, but consider this, man, you know. As human beings, let's treat each other as human beings, right? And let's try and improve ourselves and be better every single day, right? You're not bettering yourself by doing that, you know. So if you're still doing it now, today, uh, when you wake up tomorrow, Try and do better, you know. Dump your little high school grading skill there. And when I'm saying high school, I'm being generous because I think uh, no, a, a normal 12-year-old wouldn't even do that. Right. Anyway, that's all for now. Cheers.